Hello everyone, in this tutorial, we will update the translation project by adding additional features such as moving the quadri mesh to any location, saving the mesh actor, rendering the mesh in editor, moving and selecting the mesh, apply a file mesh according to the center mesh location. We start by go to Ocean Tutorial Project and open OceanTutorial.sln In the last project, our water mesh actor didn't save when we get out of the project so it may have corruption with this name You need to go to Plugin and go to Source Custom Water Public and create another actor that have different name name it water actor dot h and private water actor dot cpp We can close this Visual Studio Delete Binary and Intermediate Delete this Binary Intermediate Style VS Quick And Generate Visual Studio Project File Open Ocean Tutorial .sln again. Go to Plugin, Custom Water, Plus, and we can see this Water Actor Open .h and .cpp, Water Mesh Actor, and Water Mesh Actor .cpp. Copy Water Mesh Actor .h and pass it to wateractor.h wateractor.cpp pass it to wateractor.cpp let's save this change this name to wateractor.generated.h and this one is wateractor Water actor to initialize and we done one initializer like this and we now need to have this post load sub objects save water actor into water actor.h include and this name and we don't need this initializer because we use generated body so we don't need the initializer that is the old way to initialize actor Delete water actor Then delete this post load sub objects and save and close this go to plugin plus we delete water mesh actor because we already copy it to water actor
delete intermediate clean this project and generate Visual Studio project files open this again go to plug in source open water actor see if there is any error let's run this We have some error with my buoyancy component watermessactor.h. So let's close this. Go to my buoyancy component.cpp. My buoyancy component.h and change this to watermessactor.h. And we need to change this. Actor save this Go to my buoyancy dot cpp and now we need to change this to save and run it again. We have another error inside bottom mesh component. Let's close this. Go to water mesh component. And we include water mesh actor. That we just delete it. Change all of it to water actor. Run it again. We can open the project and let's drag this water actor. That it to zero. Use M preview ocean water. Let's play, and we have this water actor. Save it, and we will open this. Close it and open again. See if this water actor will save in the project. and run again and here you can see this water actor still in this project and we want this actor to move to any location and still working at that location Let's close this. Open bottom mesh component.cpp and in this rebuild bottom mesh function, we copy this actor and place it here. Delete this actor. Call F with the and 
actor location water water actor yet actor location and f with the 2d actor position wall to f with the 2d actor location h and actor location y This water world box, we need to add it with the actor location. Actor position because this is box 2D. And this one is actor position. And next is this vertex. Vertex one. Actor location plus vertex one. Vertex two. Actor location plus vertex 2 the same with vertex 3 and vertex 4 and save this let's run this let's play and let's move this here and play now we can move this water to any location and the Z and with any height and if this water material we don't set it set the material this actor will not spawn anything so we want it to spawn the mesh but with the default material if we don't set this material. So let's close this. Don't save. Go to rebuild water mesh. And this is the water material. We don't want to set this render the time material to water material in this delete this check if water material is not equal to nail pointer and if it is nail we get this render the time dot material apply it water material and let's save this play test and this water actor when we done add any material let's play and now it show the default material. 
so it's easier for us to know that is this water actor working or not without adding the water material let's check if we add the water material and it's working again close next we want to display this water mesh actor in the editor not only when we play but when we edit it this water mesh always update in tick when the game is run so we need to create another function in the public name is update save this go to water actor.cpp void a water actor and update copy if water mesh is update if we have the water mesh we update this water mesh and we can delete this click and save to call the tick in editor we need to create another subsystem so we can close this go to plugin and go to source create a new tech document the name is water subsystem dot h and another private water subsystem dot cpp and delete this style vs generate open go to water subsystem dot h and water subsystem dot cpp Break my ones include call minimal dot h include subsystems were subsystem dot h include sorry i type this subsystem wrong what a subsystem dot generated dot h in u class class custom water api we use this custom water api because this is the plugin name is custom water you 
for a subsystem. Public. You take a ball for subsystem. This take a ball for subsystem and take in the editor. So we generated body. In public virtual bowl is pickable on override and return true. Virtual bool is take a ball in editor hans override return true and virtual why load data time and override virtual p state id get state id on override save this and what a subsystem dot cpp we include what a subsystem dot h include water actor dot h And why you want a subsystem? Take load data time. Super take. data time for a water actor water actor p actor ring a water actor get world if water actor is true we update this water actor And T state ID U water subsystem get state ID on return quick. 
declare cycle state you were uh, state group picture balls and save this let close this and regenerate again generate visual project open water subsystem and this water subsystem dot dpp this subsystem is used for calling the water actor function this one this function update to update the water mesh component so this always work in pick and pick in editor let's run this we have some error here we should then add this semicolon so run this again and now this water mess even if we don't play it's also display it in the editor but when we move this water mess cannot update the location go to water actor dot h and add if with editor and add virtual boy post edit move and bool be finish override Why? Post it did and do. Override. Virtual. Why? Post it did. Import. Override. and virtual why post it did change property f property change even and property change even override at if let's save this go to water actor dot cpp if with editor because this function only call when it is in the editor you can copy all this function here and pass it here add if a water actor oh 
a playlist. We done add this virtual. Delete this. Uh, super house edit move be finish and water mesh mark water mesh grid the tape so when we move this water mesh, we mark this water mesh to the T to update the water mesh location. Super. Post it did and do. Water mesh, mark water mesh grid the tape and post edit import. Super post edit import. The same we mark this water mesh grid the tape and we need to delete this override. And this function super post edit chain property. property chain event mark this water grid the tape save and play test and let's try moving this and this what a mess in the editor can update its location. But when we select on other object, it highlight other object and it don't stop highlight this what a actor. So let's create this highlight function when it's select. Close this. Go to water actor dot h and add another function. Name is void on actor selection chain. Cons here you object. New selection. Bool. B. Pause. Refresh. Save. Copy this. And pass it here. And a water actor. For you object selected object new selection
a actor latex actor and cast to a actor latex object if latex actor we get water mesh and mark water mesh grid the tape and let's save let's play this it didn't work because we need to add level editor.h to this water actor.cpp if with editor include level editor.h and add if inside this initial line if with editor if g is editor and not is template app level editor module reference level editor module equal to app module manager load module text f level editor module level editor and level editor module on actor selection a add new object this a water actor on actor selection hey add if style run this and now when we select on this water actor it highlight the water actor and when we select on this it refresh the selection and it highlight this bolt it's working correctly in the editor and also in runtime let's save this and close go to water quadri dot h we need to set the file mesh according to our center mesh location this add file mesh we need another f vector 2d in water center
Save. WaterQuad3.cpp. This add file mesh. F with the 2D. In water center. In this uh, post, we use in water center and delete this water center this in center mesh extend multiply with by this 10 mesh extend let's go to water mesh component dot cpp and we have this error inside this add file mesh we need the actor position let's save and we want to clean this project a little bit so go to customwater.bl.cs and you can close all of this we don't need to include the module that we don't use we don't use this land mass and all of this renderer and we use only the render all and projects and this module name we don't need save this and run let's add files to this M preview for a background and use files it have the wrong files location close this and let's clean the project delete this binary and intermediate generate visual studio project file run this we have error when we run this Niagara system dot h include in here go to this custom water dot beer dot cs and in this add ring we add Niagara and save let's run again Now we can open the project. Let's add the file mesh. Like this water actor and file mesh. M preview. Ocean Water BG 
for this material to work you need to that this use with water to true and let's enable this use file mesh and now the file mesh is working you can move it to anywhere and if you want to scale the center multiply it by 2 your file mesh should have the same distance as the center multiply it by 2 and if you want the file mesh to be larger you need to multiply this by 10 and this center mesh extend you need to adjust it to 10 and here it's working correctly and you can type this into your console to view the wireframe mode just this tessellation if you want and this tessellation is working in editor also in runtime and this is the end of our tutorial for this tessellation Thank you very much for my patrons member who are supporting me. Your support really means a lot to me. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next tutorial.